what I use AI for is maybe like color templates, making sure my PowerPoint presentations look pretty. I've used it to help me answer difficult emails to parents. <laughs> I've also used it to make exercises as well. Sometimes your brain is just tired and you just need it a little bit of support. One of the main things that I'm planning to use it for this year as a world language teacher is for students to practice conversations in a way that they're not nervous about it being their classmate or somebody who's going to judge them. I put in every assignment as the prompt into ChatGPT to see what ChatGPT will give my prompt back so I know how what to expect for students who are utilizing AI maliciously. When we are doing our like learning targets, sometimes it's hard for me to come up with a kid-friendly version. So I use like ChatGBT and I write in like the standard and it kind of breaks it down so it's easier for my students to understand. One of the things that I did was used AI to make presentations, not, not so much presentation, but speeches. So currently I use artificial intelligence to look at data, to pinpoint exactly which kids need the help the most uh, and how I can be most effective in, in helping them. Using AI to help me look through thousands of rows of student data really helps expedite the process. I've used AI in the classroom to create scavenger hunts. Um, you can also do um, escape rooms using AI. Um, I wrote a book using AI. Yes, a math book um, with AI. I've also wrote uh, nonsense word books for my kids to use inside of the classroom to help them. I use AI all the time. You know, I use it to draft letters, emails. I use it to um, create PD. I've done that myself, like um, topics and how to expand on those topics. So I'm really looking forward to where AI is going to take us.